Good afternoon. I'm Robert Hadlock. Leslie Rohde has the day off. Firefighters are still battling high winds and some hot temperatures. They're trying to stomp out a brush fire in Leander that has been burning for more than 24 hours. At one point, it threatened 900 homes in the Grand Mesa neighborhood there. KX News Natalie Stoll is there live with our top story. Natalie. Good evening, Robert. Now, fire officials just told us that this fire is now 100% contained, but you can still see them hard at work out there, just making sure there are no more embers left over in these very dangerous weather conditions. Smoke right there. I keep telling them when they go back to school yeah. and they need to write about the most exciting thing that happened this summer, this is it. These boys wanted to see firefighters in action, but Joelle Aflito also lives near the, where the Grand Mesa fire broke out Thursday. She says then there was only fear. The helicopters were landing just a block away to refill their baskets with water and um, everybody was scared. But it was very windy yeah. yesterday and the wind was kind of blowing our way so we were really, I mean I was watching the smoke come our way and it kept getting blacker and higher and I could see the flames get higher. Officials are monitoring the wind at the mobile command center set up at William J. Winkley Elementary School. Chief Bill Gardner with the Leander Fire Department says no rain, wind, and 100 degree temperatures are all working to dry out the vegetation. And a small spark can go quickly from a small fire to a big one. Fires are so erratic, they create their own weather conditions when they burn, that it's very difficult for us to manage them. <laughs> This fire started accidentally. Construction equipment hit a rock and sent sparks into nearby brush. The Leander Fire Department warns anyone working with heavy machinery to have a spotter with them on the lookout. For years, they've called 911 and requested the fire department to come and help them. Fire departments across Texas are now asking them to help us. I'm just very, very thankful that we have people that choose that profession and they're, they're, they're risking their lives to protect us. Now, since there were no homes damaged in this fire, fire officials say the cost will relate to the amount of resources it took to fight it. At its peak, there were 30 agencies, two helicopters, and one aircraft fighting this fire. In Leander, Natalie Stoll, KXAN, Austin News.